wet and dry tyres. It's absolutely what a shot that is. The big flag, big. What a race. What a risk taker Brad Binder is. <laughs> There's a few. In the Austrian Grand Prix. Back to back first race of 2000 shows the brilliance of Jorge Martin. For his name to be mentioned in the same conditions here in Austria with rain forecast to hit drama. Ready to start in dry conditions. There are some interesting clouds just hovering above. And the pole position, of course, the 21 beats an all-time lap record from Jorge Martin. There's a few. This Spielberg track at any second. Back to back first race of 2000 shows the brilliance of Jorge Martin. They're underway in the Austrian Grand Prix. This Spielberg track after Jorge Martin and his plan and Ducati Quattararo being swallowed up here. Because he's attacking through to Mears, also made up a couple of places. Well, not a bad start from him. From Martin, they touch through turn of clear contact between Jorge Martin and Fabio Quattraro. Who was that running wide? In? It's beaten up in the second half of that first lap. He's down now in fifth place. Brad Grind has just gone through another. Where the world champion started on the factory Suzuki. Excellent start for Rico Lekawona. He's up to 10th place, the number 27 on the tech. In the mix as well. That was tight between Mir and Binder. Through that rapid right hand to turn number eight. Martin. He'll still lead the other. He's the first and only man. Breaks into turn three. Yeah, you've got to be exceptionally strong on the brakes from Jorge Martin to outbreak Mark Marco through Jack Miller, of course. Those two had a really good battle for third place behind Martin and Mir before Miller bail. We go then, Jaren Zarco powers the Ducati alongside Mark Marquez, but he won't outbreak the red under Mark Martin. Three, there's Binder up the inside of Ica Lecuona. Miguel Oliveira there as well, a trio with uh, Red Bull Katie. Lap this time around, this is come on the Ducati colleague Jorge Martin. Is Mark Kerr's going to look at the inside here on... He's had some famous battles with the Cathys there in the past, hasn't he, Mark Marquez? And Quattararo still in struggling to go with that top five in sixth. On board with Marquez in third. On the approach to turn three. Hey, he'll run down now, Mark Marquez, Fabio Quattararo. We're looking at Quattararo from... Are as quick if not better than the Yamahas and the Suzukis, which use their corner speed, their turning and agility in Austria. Magnaia, it is that still has the advantage, a narrow one, as they sweep up into turn three for the sixth time. Wrap it out with the cat, he's so often doing the pass, and here comes Jorge Martin. Six laps completed. This is shaping up to be something. That was sensational. Oh, and now Marquez tries to find a way back to on Martin into turn three. There, he did it. he's already entered the pitch. You can just see there a couple of rain spots on the camera lens. All right, all of a sudden has his eyes on potentially leaving. It's quite a slow pace here from that man. He won't mind seeing this. A couple of spots again here on the cameras as we now flick it. Here comes Paco Bagnaia. So, so good normally at managing the rear tyre, but it's going to be a big ass. This thing. I lost a lot of time. So then, we're about to chalk off lap number nine. Jorge Martin take his first win here. Is he going to try and outbreak Quattararo? He can't quite get there. Is the block pass coming? No. What a shot. Yeah, this top five again. When that rain started to fall, when the rain spots came, Jack Miller was starting to make And he's probably got the pace to catch and join them. Perfect time to ride on board there with Juan Mir. He still can't find a way through. He's got the two as well. The two LCR riders have been a bit underwhelming so far. Mir not to leave himself susceptible to a, a retaliatory move from Mir on the block. Pressure mounted on Magnaia. I'm just wondering if this breeze and the drop in temperature is helping and aiding. Taking a lot of movement. The, the uh, lack of grip and the hot condition has really been able to show his teammate Jorge Martin at a front wheel as yet. No little margin for error around this Red Bull ring circuit. So Binder is a long, long way in the back for uh, Jorge Martin. And he's fair in love as he just streaks away from uh, Mar the incoming rain. Does that play a big part for Mar Marquez or not at the moment? Still without victory. You know who he's done it, the Vizioso's done it, his Tramac Ducati. Yeah, Binder trying to force the issue now on to Brad Binder as well. Oh, that was a bit scrappy on exit. Cast your minds back to Mazzano, 11 to go. Nothing to 
to split these guys. Fask of getting through on Zarko Ducati, a little bit more complicated than he had getting through on Jack Miller. Three or four laps ago. Somebody's Zarko. down. One is down. It's Matthew Zarko. Here in the weekend, didn't he? Just yesterday, in fact. And a bit further up. Yeah, so Miller just may well have fallen into his favour somewhat, but it doesn't feel like now it's going to rain, does it? He had to go straight on there. Wow, well, there you go. Does it in the dry as well? That would be something pretty special, wouldn't it, from Mark Marquez? Well, to be honest, the fact seven and a half laps or so unfold here in Austria without him participating, 11th. Comes Mark Marquez now. Is he going to try and line up a move? Can he get into the slipstream? No way. Well, arguably the front. Banyaya. There was a little mistake there. The rain flag. Banyaya and Quattro are going to think about the championship. That will affect their risk and reward. Off on that top step already. There's five laps to go here in Austria. Martin and Mir are closing on the leading crew. Yeah, and they can't drop quite a route. The mirror just come right into podium contention. Comes, this is wild, absolutely wild. A bunch of different manufacturers and riders. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, oh. And it's raining down in pit lane. It's heavy rain whoa, through look. sector three and four. Oh, These look. guys are all on They're six. A standstill. You can't put your... Gentle. Look, barely any lean angle from him through. From Binder's... Oh, they're all coming Apart in. Apart from Binder. 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 are all changing tyres. There are four laps remaining. Wow, wow. From Alicia Spargaro, then now in second place. Late, late drama here in Just flag to flag bike swap. Then late, late drama here in and they exit pit lane on wets. Now remember, Binder is out on slick tires. What does he have the inside as well? This is mad. Late or hard? Is that rain falling? He was falling hard enough to convince this top five to bring him down. Pushing too hard. Into turn one, they complete this would be from Red Bull KTM in their backyard. But look, well, it's is... raining so hard. Slick tires. Oh, oh he's he almost mate. sideways. Down. Look at that. No leaning. He hold on. He's so, so nervy. So, so tentative on the brakes. They're almost at a standstill. The podium. Where's Brad Binder? Here he is. He's going to do it. The checkered flag is out, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe it? Peko Banghaya. He was second place. Who's going to take in the wet what a grand prix can you believe it it's gonna get martin gets a podium me a four he was gonna be nowhere near the podium on that the brad binder i feel so sorry he was gonna for some of the guys there that gambled to stay out on sleep on rossi Rossi gets eighth. I mean, Ika Lekawona was second coming through turn eight. Wet and dry tyres. It's absolutely... What a shot that is. The big flag, big... What a race. What a risk taker Brad Binder is. <laughs> he was going to be nowhere near the podium. On that than Brad Binder. I feel so sorry. Witnessed. I wonder what was going through his mind with three or four laps to go when he's not fighting for the championship. He Bagnaia, Mark, I mean, he took the risk. Sometimes, I think it was Darren Bickle. And somehow, after all of the drama, he took the risk. Sometimes, I think it was Darren Bickle. And somehow, after all of the drama. Yeah, um, I, Mike's busy getting congratulated. Down the KTM 2!